up, motherfuckers? This is the 5150 show. We are back. <laughs> See, it's a delay. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, God damn. We back in the motherfucking house regardless, God damn it. Another week, another motherfucking chance to seek the motherfucking truth out. I'm here with Darlene O.G. Ortiz. My man, Zoe Williams. What's that? Everybody, that's Laugh Love. Comedian yeah. Laugh Love from Atlanta. What it do? What it do? Hey, I'm on the air. Yeah. Who that? <laughs> hey. Answer the phone. Yeah, just all. What know. up, Laugh? So, what up, so busy? They don't know who Laugh Love is. If, you, if you've been to some of Corey's show, especially Ontario, that, then you definitely know. I got to call you back. I'm on air. Yeah. Laugh right? opens up for Corey on the road and yeah. chills. Mm -hmm. yeah, we get it in, man. We Laugh get it in. Love, goddammit. That's what it is. Um, yo, this week, I'm going to jump into the shit because on Twitter, it's a video. On social media, it's a video that's out there. And it's controversial. Somewhere in North Carolina, a 51-year-old man, I think his name is David Bell, yep. accused of punching 11-year-old girl at North Carolina Mall. Have y'all seen this video? Have y'all seen the video? Yeah, they got his mug shot. Zo pulled up it. his mug shot. Yeah. This is a video... Where we find out a lot about how everybody looks at shit. Because in this video, mm. right, right. bottom line, a young girl got knocked the fuck out. Yeah. That, that she got knocked the fuck out. She got dealt with now. A, a child. Mm -hmm. The definition of a child. Yeah. Is it, was she 11? Yeah, 11. she wasn't 12 yet. They said all yeah. the kids were under 12. 11, man. 11 years old. Was that a 5th or 6th grader? 6th. Oh, yeah, 6th grader. Mm -hmm. Got knocked the fuck out by a Caucasian 6'3 male. Somebody said she was a baby. She wasn't no sweet man. She was a baby. That's what they say. She was a baby. 11, that's a baby. That's a baby, in my opinion. Yeah, you're not a teenager yet. Maybe not to R. Kelly, but to me, oh. that's a baby. <laughs> and God damn it. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I saw the video, and the first thing I said was somebody just found out they are a child. That's what I said. And it was people starting to get mad at me. So I re I re looked at the video and say, did I fuck up? Did I not see what I thought I saw? And when I looked at the video again, I saw what I thought I saw, and that was a whole group of brought up wrong little bitches running up on a big ass man, and I believe he was with his wife and child. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. That's what the article said. Mm -hmm. He was with his wife and child. And somebody say, nigga needs to get dog walk. Can't run up on adults. That's what I'm finna say because I watched the video and it was confirmed because one of my niggas who be showing me shit, Gooch the Great, <laughs> sent me this picture of what I thought I saw and it confirmed it. The little girl pushed that man twice. Yeah. Twice she pushed him. Mm. I ain't heard that on nobody's shit. Mm. All I see, oh, this white supremacist. <laughs> oh, God, no, they did not. That's what they say. White <laughs> supremacist punched a child. He wrong. I didn't have niggas say, OG Corey, no, you he wrong. wrong. He wrong. For you sure. wrong. He wrong for hitting her? Yeah. Okay. What was he supposed to do in that situation? I'm glad you said that, Zoe, because I want to know. I want to hear what other people think. Are you saying it's the way he he tried to what? I don't know what he was doing. You it's know what about I'm saying? Being I can't a, say it's, protect it's a, To me, it's about being able to, to, to measure the amount of danger you're in. 
on did, who? Did, what do you mean? I'm him? talking about him. Now, what white people do is they always say, I feared for my life. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. The police officer, what's his name, Darren Wilson, mm -hmm. that killed Mike Brown, he was like a monster. I feared for my life. There's no video of that. There's no video of that. Right. Right? I agree. Even in looking at the video, did he seem like he was in a life-threatening situation? Well, I'll say this. It was it was a group of kids. It wasn't just one girl. Everybody keeps talking about this one chick. And it was a group of chicks around, group of little girls, and they egged her on to do this. Poorly they, they raised. Was, they was egging her on. They was laughing. Everything was fun and games until he swung on her. Till it got real. Yeah, till right. it got real. Well, it really got real before he hit her. Yeah, listen, this now I this is my thing. And keep your hands to yourself because you can't Agreed. dictate how people going to react. It don't matter whether you black, white, young, or old. Keep your hands to yourself. When you touch people, every this, I, one time I was having a conversation with one of the managers at uh, at one of the comedy clubs, black comedy club, mm. and he was talking about why he always keeps keep his pistol. He said, because if a dude tell you I'm going to kill you, he said, I believe you. He said, I'm not going to take it that you just idle threats. I'm not going to take it that you drunk. I'm going to take it that you meant it for that real. And I'm it. going to react accordingly. Mm -hmm. So if you hit me and you got a group of chicks, regardless of the age, if you got a group of people with you and you hit me and everybody egging you on, I'm going to assume once you push me, everybody finna jump. Why mm. would I make that assumption? Somebody mm. just said, I can't believe y'all capping for this cracker. I mean, do they, they don't even understand what, what, what's... Okay, I'm done. Just, just, I just, just know. That was well, I'm gonna tell comment. you like this: it's a video on the internet. All oh, you fucking sucker ass motherfuckers! <laughs> it's a video of a little funky ass bitch named Darkeisha. Is that her name? Oh, Sharkeisha. Sharkeisha, the one who yeah. hit the girl. The little funky bitch hit the little girl in the eye with glasses. Oh yeah, yes. And kept trying to stomp her out. Yeah. And the little girl suffered. Permanent damage from that evil ass shit. Cause bitches are evil. It's just when they're a certain age, motherfuckers don't want to call them little bitches. It's not. Some kids are born evil. Mm -hmm. Some kids are raised fucked up. It's proof. I don't know if the little girl was born evil, but I know she was raised fucked up. Because she acting badass with a big ass man. So all you motherfuckers, oh, Corey, I can't believe you taking up for this motherfucker. I ain't saying nothing about his actions on Twitter. Because what he did was what he did. It ain't for me to say, because if I'm with my peoples and them little bitches around me, I'm going to swing that bitch in the sky like a motherfucking dog while you trying to train them. If you surrounding me, oh, you little bitches, what y'all want? Y'all better get the fuck away from me. I'm not the one. <laughs> But all you bitch ass niggas who want to sit up here and act like this little girl wasn't out of pocket, be down. That let me know I know what kind of parents you are. So whatever your kids do, you're going to act like somebody did something to them. But Corey, this little girl is a victim of not knowing how to act with grown folks. And also on top of that, mm -hmm. and also on top of that, so if, 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 if we still don't know exactly the story either, like what they're antagonizing, what they did. Who did what to what? What was his reason why he was around? Why he left his family to be over there? Now, however, there was not, they said, all parties declined medical attention. Now, mind you, if she was really, there's a lot, there's a reason, I think, too, that when somebody declines medical attention. Frank Foundation, thank you. Cause, I mean, what, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something, what man. Is, uh, I saw an Asian beauty shop owner. I remember that incident. Knock oh. the shit out this sister. Niggas protested, was marching outside the motherfucker. I remember the that, yeah. Asian man put that weave on sale. And them hoes was out there talking shit about the niggas that was protesting. <laughs> if I'm lying, I'm dying. This happened you this right? summer. You right. Okay, here we go. It doesn't and, say and, why and they were right. It doesn't say why they were fighting, but it does say that he he can be heard throughout the video when somebody analyzed it and kind of brought the volume up. And said that he's telling them, break it up now, girls, break it up. So I don't know if he was trying to help some other situation. But I'm not taking up for the man. 
I'm telling know. you what the little girl did. The little girl was out of motherfucking pocket, and if she grew up around a man who knows the danger of playing with adults when you're 11 years old, it wouldn't have happened to her. Why? Why? Why yeah. she didn't go get an adult? If if she felt like she was threatened by him in some shape, form, or fashion, yeah, we're not condoning why, a man why, hitting a girl. No, I'm not God. saying that. No, everybody keeps their hands to yourself. Folks, right? Yeah. My thing is, if if there's a problem, somebody say last you, summer, Corey, we're in 2019. So you think we conflict, fixed there's a people since then? Have, if you got a conflict, why not go get an adult to handle another adult? Why are you a 11 year old child running up in the face of an adult? Laugh, love. That's how we I'm, supposed I'm to be asking. told. When I was coming up, if there was a problem with an adult, you kid, I'm, 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 I'm in the go go motherfucking projects. Yeah, kids already knew. I'm finna go get my I'm, uncle, yeah. my brother, my father, yeah. my mother, because that's a grown man. Right, yeah. right. We get this young lady pushing. A grown man. What the fuck is wrong with you, little girl? If I was there, I would have said, hey, come here. Don't ever push no grown man. Now, what happened? Yeah. Mm. And that man would have recognized it's a man out there. But I bet if I would have walked up to the little girl and said, why are you pushing that grown man? She may have said something smart to me. She That's just no me mate. talking of what I've seen from these oh. little women, these little girls raised by a bitch. But, and, and that part of it is true. But that still doesn't negate the wrong on the white man's part either. Well, I'm not saying or nothing about, man. I'm not saying but nothing about, about the white man. Specific right? situation. You want to arrest David, him? Stephen Bell could have handled it differently. I don't give a fuck about David Bell. That's his name, right? He did it differently. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> but I'm, I, I hope yeah, you... Yeah, he was raised wrong. I hope you're watching this. If your daughters gang up on me while I'm with my peoples, the little bitch might get slammed if she push me. I'm telling you. And this coming from a black man. So you so raise your daughters... And your sons to be respectful and do what's right. So because if they do what's wrong, they part of the game out here. They gonna get caught up in the game. So, so, so why? So you say you should have handled it? How? How would you have handled this, though? They done pushed them twice. Group of kids run up on you, and and, and you in the Compton swap meet. <laughs> you in the cop to swap me? Where them kids just shot at you? Yeah, yeah I would have been. So killed. a group of kids. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But see, same scenario. So and a group of kids run up on you like, yo, what you talking about? And one of them push you twice. Like, what you gonna do, old I mean, nigga? What you gonna do, old nigga? Wait, listen. What, but what, I've what been you in gonna do? I've been we in was... a situation like that. I want to hear what you got to okay, say, D. Okay. Let, let, I want to hear the situation you yeah, well, What you gonna I do? I was mentoring some kids down at Fauche Middle School, and there, there was an after school program. That school Remember is surrounded mm -hmm. by 72 different gangs. And a lot of those kids who stayed after school were a part of those gangs. Right. And I was in a situation where shit got <laughs> heated and them kids... They said Zoe would have elbowed him. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's a way to de-escalate, especially with children. Really? Yes. Yes, there's a way to de-escalate with kids. <laughs> wow. See, but, but you... No, I want to hear how, Lab. I got to hear the scenario. I you, know. Because you put it in a situation where, where you already the authority figure. We talking about out in public with some kids that don't fucking know you, though. Shit, we talking I've never about them. been in the situation. No, that's, but we, well, that, we like asking him how... You saying there's another way to handle it. What we want to know is how. What's the other way to handle it? They roll up on you. How are you going to handle that, Zoe? 11 white teenage girls rolling up on you. White and one of, them, well, one of them them pushed you. One of them them pushed you. What you going to do? Situation. And say, nigga, it happens. Uh, uh, I done slung niggas in the gym. I got in a fight with this nigga at the gym. You can ask everybody who was there. When I grabbed that motherfucker by his shorts and I was turning him, he was airborne. Right. So what you think I'm going to do if I feel danger? Because I can feel danger. Charcuche is proof. This is what these little scandalous bitches do. Don't run up on me, y'all. Because Listen. if y'all want it like this, we finna go like this. It's, to me, it's the same. Get the fuck away from me. I'm a grown man. I will fuck you up. But to me, logically, oh, it's shit. the same as, say, R. Kelly. Everybody said, oh, R. Kelly's a monster. You knew he was a monster. You shouldn't took your kids around him, right? 
Yep. So a lot of people calling out the parents in the R. Kelly scenario. The no, parents. R. Kelly fucked the Leah and his mama together. So, from what I heard. Now I don't know if that's a fact, but it's out there. But a lot of people are holding the parents responsible too. In much the same way as you're holding the parents responsible for these rabble of crazy kids. No, no, no. no. We hold it I'm, I'm, not, I'm talking about that little girl, in my opinion, found out life ain't no motherfucking Agreed. joke. Agreed. Agreed. But just like R. Kelly is still wrong for doing what he did, right. this white man is still wrong for doing what he did. But you didn't say how. See? How? Yes. You, you think I you never see you called what? Okay, that's an opinion. Uh, okay, wait, here's what I was D, saying. Go ahead. No, let me, let, that's D, a good that's your opinion, I'm mine is different. No, let me let D get her. All in. I was gonna say earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Right before you asked though that, I was just gonna say we would like to think that we would handle it in a different way. We wouldn't we like to think that you know what? If that happened to me and a little kid or a girl was coming at me, I'm just gonna mush her, I'm gonna hold her. I mean, I would like to think that you would do that, but that's not real. I'm not condoning what he did, how he punched her, but I'm just saying, reacting like that, that was his like natural reaction. He, Is it he, his natural a, reaction? I don't know. He's got a bunch of because people Because we live him. in a society where police say, I'm scared of niggas, period, and I can kill a nigga for no reason whatsoever the world, with some cigarettes. The world is fucked up. Like and a lot of I white would, people are starting to feel themselves. I would like to think so. So in I this would, situation, he can always use the I was scared card yes. to justify an overreaction. You are absolutely right, which is why your daughter should know not to run up on no okay. big ass white motherfucker. I agree and with give that. Him proof. And I give agree him with proof that. At 11 years old, no, I agree you with should that. not be bold enough to walk up to somebody and push him in the back. Right. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with If you notice, I'm not saying nothing about what the white motherfucker did because that's on you, white man. You did what you did and in this world, whatever happens, happens. Right. right. R. Kelly, yep. you fuck with underage girls. I know for a fact what's finna happen to R. Kelly. The same thing that happened to Bill Cosby. Mm -hmm. I got some inside information. Mm -hmm. They finna come get him. Damn. He's mm -hmm. done. You done, nigga. You done, R. Kelly. You done. And I ain't walking around here talking shit with Venom, but I'm just saying, my nigga, if, if, if let's say I was your homeboy, I'd be like, nigga, you fucked on the age girl. Right. Did you know this shit was coming one day? Right. I mean, no, I agree. What's the man who make all the movies with the glasses, D? Who like fucked? Lee? Who fucked his oh, wife's? Oh, Woody Allen. Woody Allen. He married her. Do you know the story of Woody he Allen? He married her. He, he married, married her. How, how, old, how old was she when she started fucking with him? It was like thirteen. Or something. Thirteen. Like 13 they ain't coming after him. They ain't coming after him, R. Kelly. Just like y'all people said, so they ain't coming after white people. You, you right, R. Kelly. They come. They finna come get you, G. And you probably got the scoop too. They finna come get you, man. That bullshit that um, 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 surviving R. Kelly, it worked. They about to Bill Cosby, that man. Damn. Mm. They about to Bill Cosby, that and man. the only reason his uh, record company has not totally dropped him is because he has a contract. And they say if, if they drop him, they release him, they're probably going to have to owe him the rest of that money. I mean, that's oh, what man. I heard. They ain't going to have to give him shit because he finna be in jail. Corey is Maybe right on the parenting waiting. side of this equation. The parenting side is true. If you raise... A loud mouth little girl to feel like ain't no repercussions in the world. Little girl or little boy, whatever. If you raise somebody like that to think that, uh, uh, you know, ain't nothing going to happen to you and you can talk whatever to anybody, something going to happen. I remember when we were young, I remember brothers and uncles talking to my two sisters, explaining to them. You can't just say anything to anybody, especially if we ain't around. Because they know if that ha something happens to us, they're so, going to take care of it. So that's the point I'm trying to make. But if it's not valid. We no, are I in with it. chaos. We in chaos. White people, a lot of them, I would go as far as to say most of them have evil intentions by black people. These sucker ass niggas act like I don't know that. He suck at maybe if it was all white girls, that white motherfucker wouldn't even punch the girl. He probably, he probably would have been like, "Hey, you guys, calm down. You stop. What's wrong with you?" But that don't make no difference. Mm -mm. My little sister who got punched. Somebody needs to 
Educate her on how real life is and tell her, you lucky he didn't shoot you because he'd have beat it. You lucky he didn't shoot you because his video are you pushing him twice and he with his family. Yeah. You yeah, lucky he didn't shoot you. Listen, as adults, every one of us have been out somewhere and seen a group of kids, regardless, black, white, whatever, acting a donkey, and you knew automatically, oh, we got to move out of this one. Let's leave. Yeah, let's just go. We let's automatically, let's go. Yeah. Let's what happened? Yeah, exactly. We get out of See there. See what I'm saying? Right. And so, but what happened when you can't get out of there? Were you walking out the mall and you walk into that? See what I'm saying? And now you're in the midst of it. And now they involve you in some shit you had no plans on being a part of. That's why I say, I'm not, I'm like you. I'm not saying the dude should have cold cocked the girl, but it's like Corey said, is when you put your hands on somebody, it is what it is sometimes, regardless of what your age is. Have you ever seen a cat? don't care. Have you ever seen a cat with his hair up in his back? Yeah. yeah. He on don't fuck with me mode. Yeah. You ever seen the the dog tail when it's pointed in the back? Yeah. Don't don't fuck or with that dog. Tail is, or, is right, he's not playing with you. But see, in this world, we have a lot of kids who are raised flat out wrong. Right, and I'm aware of that. So that's why I say what I say. That little girl shouldn't have never been bad enough to walk up on no grown man and push him in the back. I'm not talking. To, I don't care if he was black, white, Asian, Mexican, Gay. whatever. Right. You ain't got no business running up on no grown folks, especially a big ass man. When is somebody going to say that? Well, it's people who say that. It's people who know. But there's a big disagreement. I would say I split the whole. I split my followers and everything in half on this because most of my followers like fuck that kill that white motherfucker hey That's do that if you fuck I hear you him. talking motherfucker <laughs> do it <laughs> sit on the couch on somebody else's internet nigga <laughs> do it but I'm saying in real life when we out here in these streets you need to make sure your kids understand the danger of acting Billy Badass with strangers because they might kill your child That's and if true. a white That's motherfucker true. kill your child chances are just like if the police kill you they gonna beat it somebody need to tell the little girl look don't you ever mm -mm. ever try to fight no grown man in your lifetime even if you a grown woman but like you said zo because they will use that they'll use that and they've been using i was it afraid zo, zo like he wrong yeah he wrong he wrong yeah. you know what He's in a no-win situation. He wrong for hitting that little black girl. It's a whole bunch of shit that I agree with. Right. But look, I ain't got time for that white motherfucker. If y'all gonna, if y'all gonna, it was some motherfucker say, "Well, we from we the do it, nigga." <laughs> Quit talking shit about where we from, motherfucker. That pussy motherfucker who killed um the little boy in Florida. He's still out, ain't he? Yeah. That nigga be yeah. at the club every week, don't he? Yeah. What yeah. the fuck is you niggas talking about what you did? This is real life, and you know consequences. Trayvon Martin. That's what you're talking right, about. Trayvon, Trayvon Martin. Martin. This real life. Consequences come with doing real shit. I try to avoid it because there's something that happens to me when I get mad. I black mm -hmm. out, and I do dumb shit, and I regret it. It'll be That's too why. Late, I, and it'll be too late. Man, I'd have been at the gym playing ball and got into physical fights, and then when I'm calm, I'm like, what the, the fuck was I doing? Right. I should have left that shit alone. I should have just been like, fuck it, man. You can have a game. Right. But you know what happened when you were a man? I was on the plane with Terrell Owens one day. It was, we was going to All-Star. T.O., you want to come with us to the party? He said, no. I said, oh, man. He said, he said no, I know how I am, man. I don't need to be around shit that shit. Bad. Right. I, I know how I am. <laughs> you the know what fuck? this reminds me of? This reminds me of that scene in The Matrix when Morpheus is explaining to Neo, like, hey, nigga. You see an agent, you run. Don't try to fight no agent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see one of the motherfuckers. This little bitch thought she was the one. She took one. She took one. So no, I, I, I understand where you coming from. Mm. That's we in the matrix. These motherfuckers is monsters. Don't try to fight one of these motherfuckers. Mm. I get that. I get that part. But at the same time. That white man, boy. Well, let me give a movie analogy. Because it happened to be on today. I mean, I done seen Taken before. But today it happened to come on. And mm -hmm. I, I compared this to that movie Taken. Mm -hmm. Let's spoil California, bitch. His daughter. 
Even lied to him about what she was going out there to do. They was chasing a rock band. She a little groupy bitch. But this is very important. Lav, how old is your daughter? Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Oh my God, this is so important. Mm. Cause I want you to respond to this. Even though the little bitch was a spoiled little California bitch, I'm talking about and taking the daughter. Mm-hmm. When it really boiled down to it, he said, "Calm down. They're going to take you." And that's when she gathered herself and began to do what she was supposed to do. How many of you motherfuckers out there can calm your child down when they? Fucking up at age 11, 12, 13 and get them to do what they supposed to do at any point. You can, you got no control over your kids. Your kids don't respect you. Your kids have seen you do all kind of bogus shit mm. on top of them being bogus. I don't give a fuck what you say to them. They ain't listening to you. I just seen kids stomp away from their parents when they was like, come here. Mm-hmm. Shut up. <laughs> whoop they woo who the fuck are you to talk about what the fuck is going on in the world and use it as a motherfucking crutch? Your life ain't shit and your kids ain't shit. Your kids ain't got no respect for you. You couldn't get your daughter to stop and say, hey, come here. I want to talk to you. Yeah, fuck that. Look at you like, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up talking to me. Your daughter 12, Lab. If you told her, hey, come here. I want to talk to you. Would she come to you? Oh, without a doubt. We uh, I had a situation. My daughter got a cell phone, so Lab was in the army, by the way. Yeah, she texts some little boy, and they wasn't texting them wrong. It just was straight school stuff, yada yada yada. Don't matter if she a bust down. We with you, Lab. Stupid. Shut no. up. And so I was like, uh, I was like, yo, you, we not we not doing this texting the little boy thing. I say, so what I did is I took the phone, I texted him, I said, yo, this her daddy. Don't text this phone no more. And the next day. I got the phone again. She had blocked him. I didn't tell her to block him. I just said, don't text him no more. But she blocked him on his own. Because she knew mm-hmm. when I say don't do this no more, we're not going to have this conversation no more. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? How so many, saying, how many people live in that world. situation with a father who has influence over his that's children? Most people are in a situation where the kids don't like the daddy based off what the mama said. But that's what I was about to say. Well, that's a certain level of respect. When you got a good father in the house who teaches daughters boundaries, who teaches sons how to be self-aware in the community, who teaches them both how to be aware of their surroundings, then now you got kids that are are, are respected or, or, or representing their parents right when they out in the world. At the end of the day, that used to be a part of parenting, right, in the black community. Mm-hmm. When you leave this house, you represent, represent me. me. Mm-hmm. You represent us. See, but that's the problem. When they represent, they like they like like Corey said, they represent the bogus ass parent that's at the house. That, but that's, that's the, the problem. problem. But, but that's one of the problems in this situation. It's not a black and white situation. Again, yes, there's white supremacists, white man privilege. I think I could sock an eleven year old girl in the mouth going on too. Yeah, there's some of that going on too yeah, that I needs agree. to be addressed. Needs yes, to be handled. You, it needs to be handled. But you also got to handle what Corey is talking about, and that starts in the house. If that little girl is brave enough, bold wow, enough, courageous it. enough to run up on a white man in these, these days, times, yes, yes, in wow. these times when white people have been emboldened by a president. That is motherfucking outwardly racist. Oh, well, I feel like I can get away and sock this motherfucking girl. That's scary. Because, and then pull the I'm scared card. No, but it's scary for her to think that. You know what I'm saying? See, but, but it's that's, okay it, but that's no, it's not one situation. I, it's a myriad of situations that need to be dealt with within this particular incident. I, I, Bad I parenting versus white supremacy but i get that but it's but that i think you've proven Corey's point with all that in place why would you still run up on this but dude no, i've already with all, accepted with all that, Corey's with point all that as true been in place. but what i'm saying is it's true but there's more to that truth and it's more layered and nuanced and it's not just black and white right that's what makes this all too it's but if you that, that's the thing about it though what that ain't going nowhere. So since that ain't going nowhere, now what you do? Hit a whole go. 
her, her name Naomi. <laughs> She's 12, and that man inserted himself in whatever those girls had going on. He imitated aggression. No, she couldn't have taken him alone, but she ran up as reaction to being pushed. And I doubt, this is the weird, not, not a bitch start inserting her own shit. Mm -hmm. I doubt she was going to hit him. All of this would have been avoided still had he minded had he minded his own business. That's what this bitch. And you know what? The lady who did this, Zoe, I ain't trying to cut you off. The lady who did this got pictures of her naked all over the motherfucking internet. <laughs> and a picture of her daughter hugging her damn near naked on the internet. Somebody this said. is a bitch named Naomi. I would put your at on here, but I ain't going to do you like that. I ain't going to do you like somebody that. Said, well, that's uh, somebody's take on somebody it. Somebody said, yeah. Zoe, it doesn't involve white supremacy. Okay. If you don't agree that it involves white supremacy, at the very least, it involves white Male privilege. Yes. Even though At he was arrested. Least. Even though he was arrested, I heard. Yeah. I know he ain't finna go to my you ain't finna face them charges. Right. You ain't finna face them charges. They might have done that on a motherfucking they do it as a formality. Right. Right, and he was already released. I'm not taking up for his name is David Bell, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not taking up for this motherfucker. I'm trying to educate these people on what happens as you send your children 11 years old wait a minute has your daughter been to the mall at age 11 by herself no, no. what the no. fuck is you dumb niggas talking about no, no. never With a group 11 years right. old by never. they self at the mall no. never my niece, that's right you know the little girl that comes to help me that's her she's 11 by herself wow that's crazy yeah, never. Uh, have we have we have we said something about that? That the girl is eleven years old by herself at the mall with a mob of other little girls that was doing the same shit, except she was bold enough to touch the man twice. Mm -hmm. Did you see when she got hit? How all them bitches went in the mall. It was like they all of a sudden started to act right. Like get the fuck away from him. You got to act like you crazy for motherfuckers to make you do what you're supposed to do. That's why 11 years old at the mall. This is what happened when your kid's 11 years old at the mall, unsupervised and unfit to handle the world. Anything gonna happen. But thank God. Some motherfucker said, what about your daughter, Corey? My daughter in motherfucking school to get her doctorate, motherfucker. I ain't yeah. bragging on that shit. I'm just saying, that's what the fuck it is. That's what the fuck it is, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Where your daughter at? <laughs> where your it daughter at? I want to ask all you motherfuckers, where your kids at? <laughs> Talking about... Some motherfucking dumb shit. 11-year-old girl at the motherfucking mall then fucked around and got punched in the face. If I was her father, yes, I would have something to say to that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I would definitely have something to say to that motherfucker. I'd be like, I believe you punched her because of the situation. It was a black girl. But I'm not finna motherfucking do no shit like murder your ass right now because my daughter ain't had no business acting like she was acting at the mall. But I'm definitely finna let my presence be known and walk up to the motherfucker because I'm just the motherfucker who do that. What I look like walking up to this man? Look, nah, you remember, remember OG Bobby Johnson? Yeah. Who? OG Bobby Johnson in the movie. Was it South Central? I think so. Remember the movie yeah. South Central? Yeah. yeah. Remember he got out of jail? Yeah. His son had got shot in the back. What he say, little G? Yeah. Yeah. What he say? I'm sorry, I wasn't there for you when that happened, mm -hmm. but I'm here now. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. These kids don't even know how to behave. They run up on adults. Mean girls all over the internet. Look on the internet. Every bitch on there. Ain't no bitch on there acting respectable. The respectable bitches don't even look. They look like they. What is the joke behind it? Every bitch on the internet naked, showing off her makeup and weave. Look at them. You want to go through the whole motherfucking internet? It's an internet full of bitches showing off their makeup and weave. This is what they grow up to be. I, w I wish the big homie uh, Tariq could have came and joined us on this. I, I asked you to yeah. see if Tariq could come. Yeah. Because, you know, it would have been a Because Tariq crazy. was enraged at that white man. As, as I know he should be. Yeah, as he should be. But I'm motherfucking here trying to solve problems. I'm not here to motherfucking ignore them. 
I'm I'm at OG status, motherfucker. What the fuck I look like not telling this little girl, don't you ever run up on no grown man. But like he says, though, there's a lot to this. It's, it's a not lot just to one it. thing right. It's a lot Corey to Corey is right. I'm, Same thing like you said with the R. Kelly. He's there's right about the parenting. Right. Yes, he's right about that. But mm. a 51-year-old man supposed to sock no 11-year-old girl. No. Not supposed to, but like I said, I would, so, like, to, I would like to think no. in a situation that I would And I understand I it's a cold I, world. I'm just saying we, I wouldn't handle it. When I say it's a cold world, so we was watching them. the fucking Lions and the Hina, Hyena video before <laughs> the show just to, to illustrate Corey's point. Like When a motherfucker, nigga, when a motherfucker is standing at you like this, if you're not ready to go to war with him, don't fake it. When a motherfucker is ready and you see that look in his eye, like get the fuck on... If you're not ready to go to war, get the fuck on. Mm. Get the fuck on. You 11 years old. You ain't got no business playing. I don't know what happened at your house to make you think this was a situation where you was about to act how you normally act. But this ain't that situation. Right. Them police yeah. will kill you. My motherfucking nephew. The police took something from him. He tried to snatch it back from the police. <laughs> from what I heard. But I know his behavior... Yeah, he do oh, shit like that. Okay. He do shit like that. Mm. So I'm supposed to be like, man, them police shouldn't have took his shit. Right. Man, mm. the motherfucking police got pistols. How the fuck is you running up on these motherfuckers? But my nephew come from an ain't shit bitch. My sister ain't about shit. And I got the motherfucking courage to say it. You motherfuckers ain't got the courage to say it. Y'all motherfuckers out here making excuses for everything in your life. But all I got to say is... Walk to the bathroom right now, look in the mirror, and tell me what you see. Do you see accomplishment? Do you see a motherfucker who need to be talking about what the fuck somebody did? <laughs> or do you see a motherfucker that's in their 40s still trying to get on their feet? <laughs> mm. <laughs> nigga, stop, nigga. Stop. Stop acting like something wrong with me. Something wrong with you, motherfucker. Where your kids at? That's why at, I say the that you motherfucker. And I agree with you. He said at, at the, the mall. mall. You know right. At the mall, buddy. buddy. It is the little girl running up on the man is as egregious as him socking her in the face. Because if if she's parented right, if she's raised right, she understands that she's in harm's way. We need to do a we need to do a background check on this man and see what he does. Right. Because like I said, I believe most white people have a prejudice toward black people off GP. I ran into my man from motherfucker in the show, Mike and Molly. You know the white oh, comic? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He from Milwaukee. I know him from the circuit. That's right. He started out like I'm looking that. in the, he was in there getting his motherfucking feet done. <laughs> he was in the shop. I walked past this little Asian shop where they do the nails and feet. He was getting his feet done. I walked past. I was looking. I was like, damn, that looked like yeah. that looked like Billy. You did talk that you guys that knew each other before he yeah. That motherfucker show. said, Corey. <laughs> I was like, Billy, that's you. <laughs> Billy is a white man. From motherfucking Milwaukee area. I just say that. I know him from the circuit. I was so glad when I saw him on Mike and Molly because I know this game. It's a cold game. And when you book a show like that, it basically saves your career. I was so happy Billy booked that show. But the point I'm trying to make, Billy is white. White. But I'm going to tell you like this. Is since I've known him, I ain't seen no bullshit off him. I'm just telling you. I ain't mm -hmm. seen no bullshit off him. Mm -hmm. But this is a white man from the Midwest. Milwaukee racist in a motherfucker. But I'm telling you, this man, I ain't I ain't been around him every day, but you know how you it'd be a motherfucker yeah. from the circuit. Yeah. yeah. I ain't never seen him do no cold blooded shit. So I'm saying that to say I can't walk up to white people off GP and be like, fuck you, you ain't shit. Cause that's ignorance. But what I can do is allow motherfuckers to Put it like this. Here's the word that Darlene said Show that's profound. Head. Check the pedigree. Who is David Bell? Can we see who he is? Does yeah, somebody yeah. show what he is, what he does for a living, and all like that? Have we done this? And then I want you to check the parents and the background of that little girl. Then we can come together and figure out what the fuck really happened, even though we didn't see what happened. Because it's normally what it is. And try to get some kind of answers or, or help in 
to try and avoid situations. I ain't got no patience for no little kids surrounding me. I don't. I, I ain't gonna even lie. I hear but you surround me, you in danger. I'll be like, somebody better come get these little bitches. Again, but see how you said it. See how you did that. I, that was that. That was holding back. That was starting. I would like to say again. Like I would they like, gonna know. I would really like that to nigga say. gonna hit me if I do something to him. That's what they gonna know. I'm gonna be like, you little bitches better get the fuck away from me and mine. You feel me? So I would like to think that I would really be cool and calm and collected as best I could. I don't know. I, don't I know seen a girl. I seen a girl around that age jumping on this other girl. The other girl started pissing and shitting on herself, and she had her little baby with her. Toddler, probably about four, maybe five. So the baby hit the girl. Then the bitch started jumping on the baby. I saw that. That's terrible. I Fuck that. a that bitch. Was- Kiss my motherfucking ass, you soft ass motherfuckers. You get it how you bring it. You get it how you bring it. You bring that bullshit. You you just open the door. God damn it. A little bitch could get super socked by me. Let it be known. If you don't like me no more, what the fuck could I do? Come get this little bitch before I hit her. (laughs) What? If it's a black girl, if it's a white girl, if it's a Mexican girl, Asian girl, whoever. I don't want no little bitch shitting on me because you're a spoiled, crazy bitch to think you can hit a grown man. Well, it says that the off, uh, an off-duty officer arrested Bell, who is 51 years old. He is charged with one count of assault on a female under 12 and two counts of assault on a female. Video of the incident is making its, around, uh, making its rounds on social media. In the video, Bell can be seen surrounded by a group of juveniles. Mm. They call them juveniles. Well, they are. Non-white kids. If them was all white kids, a group of kids were watching their friend get beat hey, up. Hey, but they, at least they, they didn't use thugs. Right. No, them you bitches. Know, the when, when they saw that little girl get hit, them thugs. bitches ran in that mall like, ah! <laughs> now, the horror, the shock of the truth is a motherfucker, man. Don't run up on me while I'm with my peoples, especially if I got a baby with me. Because I know you little bitches might try to scratch my baby eyes out while my back turn. I know bitches ain't shit. A lot of motherfuckers don't know it. That's why I ain't mad at you. I can't be mad at what you don't know. You don't know shit. What the fuck? I ain't mad at you, but I'm just saying. Motherfucker, mm. I ain't, I'm not finna let nobody fuck with my family. I'm I'm ready to do whatever the fuck gotta be done. And now you, if you, mother, oh, Corey taking up for, I ain't taking up for shit. I'm telling you who I am. Hell yeah, I'm going to try to de escalate it if I see their kids. I might be, I'm going to be like, hey man, y'all get the fuck on. Go, go, fuck go off, home. Man. Fuck off, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, look. Like what happened with that music the teacher? Master? Remember the music teacher? <laughs> what? The black music teacher? That little, that little Mexican kid? Oh yeah, when he was cursing him out. What's up, my nigga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, that? yeah, 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 yeah. He tried to hang that. Then the man fought the little Mexican boy. He was a little gay teacher. Couldn't fight. Because mm-hmm. if it was a man, yeah. that little boy would have been, yeah, been knocked the out. fuck out. That's true. You see the video? And the, the man went to jail. You see the video of the little girl standing up on the desk. The substitute teacher, old black dude. Little black girl stand up on the desk. Yeah, that happened too. Uh, Remember on here? Uh, slap him upside the head. <laughs> yeah. upside. She couldn't have been no more than seventh or eighth grade. Slap him upside the head. While she standing on his desk, everybody, kids laughing. Laughing, taking the pictures. Yeah, filming while she was doing it. Nobody's saying, come on, man. I'm the bus driver in Cleveland. You go in jail. Remember that? You was the bitch the down the day? The bitch jumped back up on the bus trying to fight him. Man, these little bitches wild out here. If y'all don't get the fuck out my face, them bitches will march against and you boy, for taking like up against them. That, like you said, that little Mexican kid, that was so foul. He came back, right. he came back in the class. They already told him, get out of here. He told him, go, don't come back. Kid didn't get to the limit. He came back. Even oh, though yeah. after all of the shit Man. was, was all, after the dust settled, you know the teacher, them charges was dropped. Because the video... Was what it was. And not only that, they the little boy was bogus. Just like this man got arrested. If you hit a child, you going to jail. Yeah, you gonna get arrested. Unless, right. unless, unless, I didn't see white motherfuckers do scandalous shit. You remember this summer that man, that white man was talking about where them people was parked. The black people was parked. Yeah. Then the the, the the dude came out and he pushed the white man down, yeah. and then the white motherfucker shot him. Yeah. And the police said, well, he did what he was supposed to do. 
The white cop. Yeah. There weren't even no charges pressed against this man. You done murdered this man in front of his family after you at their car arguing with them about a parking spot. He pushed you down. It ain't like he pushed him down and was coming at him right. trying to fight him. He pushed him down. That motherfucker, coward motherfucker. Uh, that, hey, let me tell you something. Black people, especially if you live in Florida. Oof. Do not argue with white people unless you got that thing. Because <laughs> they got that thing. And, you know, and they going to beat the case if they do something to you. And do you know, not, um, don't get in no little stupid argument with no white motherfucker unless you got that thing. Or unless you about to motherfucker make it where he can't pull that thing out. But in both those incidences you just brought up, the kid in the classroom and the incident with that guy shooting that other guy with his wife in the car and the mm. kid in the car. In both those instances, after the fact, yes, they checked the M.O. That teacher had so much backing from every parent, whether it was Mexican, black, white, every parent saying his M.O. is a good teacher. He doesn't do that. He's a soft-hearted like gay man. And, and, <laughs> so in the, other incident, <laughs> That's what he in the is. other incident with that guy shooting him, they said that guy's been known threatening people like that in front of that store. So he was, it was a matter of time that that unfortunately was going to happen. It did. But they said that that guy, they checked his pedigree back on. He's known. And he run up, up on people yes, about that parking yes, spot. Yes. yes. So just starting there. shit with a gun. And it was just an unfortunate matter of time. He got a gun because he, he know he on the bullshit. Right. He was looking for a moment. Something it was crazy. That's, That's wild. fucked See? up, man. God. That man died. He got shot. I saw him. He was like, "God damn, this yep. motherfucker done shot me." Died. Damn. By the ice box. I know if I run up on a white motherfucker in Florida, goddamn, I'm working in Jacksonville in two weeks, goddamn it. I ain't looking for no altercations because mm -hmm. I know how I go. I know how I go. See, fuck that. But back on this R. Kelly shit. Oh, I want to let you bitches know, y'all won. If you was trying to destroy him, you didn't did it. They about to serve him. R. Kelly finna be served. They about to put a real case on him. Case it, he done already beat, just like Ray Rice. Ray Rice had beat the case. Yeah. Right. But white motherfuckers like, no, nah, fuck that. We finna get him again. That's what happened when you live in America. They can come put another charge on you, and you got to pay the money to beat it. Wow. <laughs> you gotta you 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 can beat a charge and then they can put another charge on you. Look, you can appeal something in America mm. and they can appeal the appeal. Shit. <laughs> appeal the appeal. They can appeal the appeal. <laughs> you won the appeal, now they coming with another appeal to appeal that one. We're going to peel back the appeal. There is no <laughs> law. Yeah. There's no law. In America, it's, it's twisted, who's standing in front of the judge? Who standing? Who is this? Oh, this nigga? Get him. Yeah. And people can very well know that somebody is dead wrong, but on technicalities. That's just how law is so twisted. Yeah. God. Somebody say, you can beat the case, but you can't beat the race. America is set up where... Damn, so many people don't understand this. That's why it's so important to say this. America is set up to win by default. Right. All you brothers, some some woman put a child support case on you. You have to show up and defend yourself. If, if you not, don't. they'll mm. win by default. By default? If you get a ticket in the mail, Failure if you don't pay the ticket, yeah. you, you if you don't pay the ticket, big. they tax you like crazy. Especially big. out here in LA. It's funny you say that yo you missed the ticket no let me tell you so <laughs> so you know i got i got white people credit so but we'll take your word for yeah, it yeah trust me uh, <laughs> yeah i got white people credit so this dude go sign so for this, this company, company right now this company said that i owed them some money so they filed a thing in the court so i had to come to court to fight the whatever whatever but i have a i got a lawyer so i sent the lawyer when the lawyer gets there they said we want to drop the case. Mm. So what they depend on is for you to not show up so they can get the judgment by default. But because I had a lawyer show up, they automatically dropped it. No, mm -hmm. that's how they, that's how the system makes this its money. Yeah. No, you exactly. <laughs> you had to pay for a lawyer. Because, yeah, because I had a lawyer. That's all they care about. As yeah. long as you pay. Let me tell you what I know a story of. Everybody listen to this. This is a real story. I know a dude who owns a building okay. he had to evict this crazy bitch up out the building you know the bitch eventually through a hard right. eviction 
process, the bitch had to get out. You know, she moved to Texas. Do you know this bitch, year, a year later, filed an eviction on him to have to move out of his own building? Mm. And if he don't address it, the bitch will win by default. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So just add a note, just just on. You can put a case on. That's the flaw in the system. You can put a case on anybody, homie. You can put a cha- You can put a case on your baby mama for child support, saying she did it maliciously. If she don't show up for the case, mm-hmm. you gotta. Not you might not. You might still have to pay child support, right. but that bitch gotta. That bitch gotta come up off what you sued her for. Right, like that's it, the flaw in the system that true. everybody don't know. That the system really hoping don't everybody play. don't learn the game. Right. But I think everybody need to play the game. You need to sue a motherfucker on GP. I found this out a long time ago, but that Aries Spears shit, Aries know he ain't got no motherfucking case. You bitch ass nigga. You came up here with that whole shit. You got bold. <laughs> As soon as you threatened that man, that man bowled the fuck out your ass. He was scared for his life after you said that shit. So, now what your whole ass do? Your whole ass was embarrassed and you went and put a case on me. I done spent G's on lawyers just to make the shit be what it be. You want to meet me in court? Meet me in court. Bitch ass nigga, you ain't even had no motherfucking case. You ain't had no case. I'm telling you the nigga ain't got no case. Hey, bitch ass Aries, I ain't seen you since that shit happened. When you see me, you know I'm going to walk up to you and ask you what was that whole shit about, right? I don't give a fuck who get mad. I ain't say I'm finna do something to you. I ain't finna fight you. I knew you before that shit. I'm gonna walk up to you and ask you why you do that whole shit. Really, I know. I just want to walk up on you. Mm-hmm. How about that? Mm-hmm. I know why you did it because you a whole ass nigga mm-hmm. who took a baseball bat to his wife. Ooh. I said it. Bitch nigga. Ooh. See me. <laughs> we gonna run into each other one day, nigga. You can we gonna run into each other one day, nigga. And when you see me, nigga, I'ma be right what's up, nigga? What's up with that whole shit? Niggas, I ain't never motherfucking tuck my nuts between my motherfucking legs. When it's on, it's on, nigga. When it's on, it's on. Nigga, I wanna know why you put a case on that shit when you was bogus. You was up in here drunk than a motherfucker, talking over everybody. Oh, Corey, he set me up to come up there to get beat up. He didn't like me. What you told them whole ass drunk ass lawyers? Some old ass <laughs> drunk white motherfuckers. When I saw them motherfuckers, I was like, these the law firm, this the law firm you hired? They dropped you, motherfucker. Oh, God. Didn't they? You whole ass motherfucker. My motherfucking lawyers be like, Corey, don't say nothing. Just let it run out. Nigga, fuck that. Come on with it, nigga. I'm right here. What? I'm from the motherfucking projects. I don't give a fuck about no money, nigga. It's the principle. If I can't make no more money, fuck it. If I can't go get no more money, fuck it. I'm not finna be no. I'm not finna be a hold of money. I'm not finna be a hold of no nigga. The system, all that shit. Whatever the fuck come my way, I ain't gonna lie. I'm smart. I try to avoid some bullshit if I can, but. I don't like the fact that your bitch ass kissed my ass to come up here and then at the bottom line you leave this motherfucker with your ass whooped for threatening the motherfucker and then you run to the system and knowing you ain't finna show up for court. Show your whole ass up for that court date, nigga. Bitch ass nigga. I fucking, every time I think about that shit it make me mad, dog. Right. Bitch ass nigga. I, I ain't never finna fold, nigga. That venom. Never. I don't give a fuck. I motherfucker, man, look, I don't want to be an old nigga get his ass whooped by some motherfucker who just <laughs> overpower you, overpower me or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I bet if I, if even if I can't win, I'm not finna fold like that, nigga. No, that was foul. That that really was. It was foul. gushy. I ain't finna mm-hmm. fold, nigga. Fuck that shit. I'm talking about like anybody could get their ass whooped. Shit, I wish I was the strongest nigga in the world. If I was the strongest nigga in the world, it'd be about four motherfuckers out here. I'd be dead. <laughs> I'm just saying, if I was the strongest nigga in the Who? world, but I'm not the strongest nigga in the Who? world, I ain't gonna even say their names. <laughs> <laughs> they go I'm just saying, I ain't gonna say their names, but I'm just saying, man, Who? look, man, this, this world ain't fair, man. A motherfucker can put a case on you, and if you don't handle the case, they win by default. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
That's even when, even, and we're talking all cases. People don't get it. Even when, you know, when the, they, they take the, uh, the parent, well, I'd say the dad, because the majority of the dads, when they take the fathers to court because they want to raise the, raise the child support. Yeah. Let you not show up. Oh, yeah. The it costs does. money. It costs money to, look, if you a per, look, everybody can't go to court yeah, and represent they themselves. Right, but they're waiting. All you got to do is show up, but even if you don't, you know what I'm saying? At least that. Can you imagine if you're a black male standing in court talking about, oh, uh, <laughs> You can't show up for court. You can't say something. You can't speak for yourself. It costs money for a motherfucker like me if somebody put a case on me. Sure, but it's uh, it's bad if you do not show up at all. That's it. Like you said, there's no there's no coming back from that. I ain't gonna lie. With this court shit, I ain't no court motherfucker. I'm I'm from I, I ain't no court motherfucker. I can't I put a case on a motherfucker. It's just to motherfucking protect my back. <laughs> Well, I put the case on it, mm-hmm. <laughs> but nigga, fuck that shit, dog. I, street justice is the best justice. Can't play with none of that stuff. Yeah, it's that the best is. justice. Street justice is the best justice. I don't give a fuck who get mad. Hold it against me in a courtroom. Right here, we have Corey Holcomb saying street justice is the best justice. Because <laughs> that's what they do. This this footage that we have right now, they can play that in court. Rappers have gotten in trouble for their lyrics. Oh yeah, they hold. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. song. Yeah. <laughs> and them motherfuckers be like, well, here the nigger said. Hooty, no. hooty, whoo. Well, that's why you gotta say it was my opinion, or you gotta say allegedly. You, you can say it was a song. They don't care. They just, yeah. they're allowed to try to make you look bad. Yeah, that's true. That's fucked up how this world work, man. It's I done got fired up over that shit, that it's bitch ass nigga, man. Ho uh, ass nigga. Yeah, how did he connect to the guy? Okay. Ho ass nigga, because I done spent money. I done spent money, man. I done spent money on that shit, and it ain't even shit. See? Nonsense. People can just do that when they want to, and that's... Chris Smith, lawyer from ICM. You are fucking bitch-ass, motherfucking lying ass. You came to that motherfucking courtroom and lied your ass off. This white white agent Uh who is suing me (laughs) for some money that he say I owe. I got proof you lied. I got proof, motherfucker. You a lying motherfucker. You went in that courtroom and lied, you plastic surgery face bitch. Mm. I think everybody should email Chris Smith at ICM agency and ask him why did he lie when he was in that motherfucker courtroom. I don't know his email. I I get it. Email that motherfucker and ask him why he lied. Is that one of the people you would beat up if you the strongest dude in the world? No. Oh, you shouldn't say that, Corey. That's considered harassment. Well, come on with it, motherfucker. Show me your power so I can show you I don't give a fuck. Obviously. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, so me, nigga. Come get it, nigga. Come get Corey Hogan. Corey Hogan, my government name, motherfucker. See what that's worth when you get there. Nigga, I wish I... Fuck a Corey Hogan. Corey Hogan is the shit that I hustle with. Motherfucker. Now see how broke Corey Holcomb is, motherfucker. I can't with this guy. I'll play the game too, nigga. Sue Corey Holcomb. <laughs> Darlene, like, I think that's considered harassment. <laughs> the white promoter who motherfucker promoted me for a show in St. Louis <laughs> almost got my Twitter shut down because he said, because I gave motherfuckers his email. Ask him why he telling y'all I'm on the show and I'm not on the show. Mm. Mm-hmm. No, the Did, best one. You was, think I give a fuck? No, the best one was the hotel. Remember when the people started calling the hotel up for that manager? Guy? Yeah, that, that hotel wrong. manager who was acting oh, crazy. I want to say to all my Twitter followers, y'all motherfuckers, shut that hotel down. Niggas was calling that hotel. Even went in there. That one nigga, I don't know who you are, but when you was complaining about your sandwich, nigga. That was the funniest shit. I'm going I'm to find that conversation and I'm going to play it. Whoever you are, you brilliant. This motherfucker was complaining about a sandwich. He ain't even in the hotel. But the manager dude was like, um, no, uh, this went on for about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, well, because my sandwich is right here. Nigga, it's some, them chat room goons, these motherfuckers on Twitter. Uh, it's some funny motherfuckers out here in this uh, world, man. Uh, <laughs> Hell no, man. We go get the Darlene segment with my motherfucking mm. long-winded ass. <laughs> Here he I got mad, man. I, I got mad that motherfucker. I can see it in his spirit. I can see you it. Let me tell you what hurt the most. P. 
people don't people don't see what I'm trying to say about the little girl not being disciplined. Yeah. In fact, it hurts me that people think that I'm fucking up. Condoning or you're okay. Right. With that guy like I'm that. saying what happened was okay. No. I'm talking about how to save the children, to be quite honest. Which sounds like I'm selling out or like kissing ass to try to make a scene like, oh, I'm trying to do something right. But read my statement. See what I say. Mm-hmm. I never say that motherfucker was whatever. I'm saying these kids need to understand adults are adults and you man, kids don't even say excuse me now. You remember when you was oh, little? No. When your mom and them know. was talking? Would you say something while your mom and them was talking? Oh my God. The motherfucker who with your mama be like, what are you better not say nothing while grown folks talking? Right. Yeah. Well, right. nowadays you can't even do that. Now the mama will stop talking to you, yeah. won't even say excuse me, yeah. and just attend to what this little motherfucking bastard won't. Hold on, take a step further. You couldn't even be in the same room while your parents was talking to another yeah. adult. Yeah. Get out of here, all up in grown folks' mouth. That's right. yeah. Your little Get out of here, all the right. wrong folks' <laughs> mouth. Why are you all in my mouth? Yeah. No. This portion of the so show bad. has started late because of my mad ass. And this portion of the show is called These Loose Talk About Bullshit. All right. Thank you for that. All right. Uh, well, on to some very light stuff. Uh, so, Will Smith. <laughs> Will Smith and Martin Lawrence are currently filming Bad Boys 3 in, in Atlanta. And the internet has been going wild after they're learning about it uh, last month. Well, actually, in November, when Will Smith put out a video and a picture up on his IG on November 1st. And so far, the video has been viewed for more than 13 million times. Uh, Will said in that short clip, it's official. It's official, baby. Bad Boys 3 is happening. I'm telling you, yo, that's it. No more. Y'all can't handle that. Anyway, he's, it, just, it comes out 2020. They both look great. I can't believe that uh, Will is 50 now and Martin Lawrence is 53. Okay, let's tell the truth. Uh-oh. Will Smith, and you can tell. That, that's actually from this morning. You can tell Will Smith works out. Leave Martin alone. You know <laughs> what? You said stuff. I, I didn't say nothing. I that was I'm not dissing Martin. I'm just saying you can tell Will Smith works out. Look at how they look. That was Do you crazy. see it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying Will Smith if, Except for the hair You can't really tell how old Will Smith is Sometimes That's true Martin got that deacon at church look And Martin that ain't no diss Martin older than him now. That's a lot of years Martin is three years older than him Three years older ain't Martin the old guy no. <laughs> no I'm saying older than Will He's three years older than Will Yeah the movie gonna look tripped out uh, Cause Martin look older now. They go significantly gonna, older than he did when they made the other they one. They can play it off. That's what happens when you have a pretty wife. You get gray hair real quick. My has got an ugly work. wife. They look young. They like, and I ain't worried about this bitch. I think it'll be pretty exciting. Uh, and moving on. Somebody say Martin shaped like T.D. Jakes. He's not that bad. Oh, you saying T.D. Jakes bad, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Uh, Laugh look like T.D. Jakes in shape. Okay. So, uh, moving on. So, the Super Bowl, of course, you know, is right around the corner. And they, of course, early we spoke about that, that Maroon 5 confirmed uh, to perform, and also that Travis Scott, now they've locked in Big Boy from Outcast. So they were saying, people were saying that the NFL was trying to get somebody local. That's a jackpot to me, but still, it's, isn't it it's interesting? I mean, Big Boy ain't for the turn down the Super Bowl. What, say, what yeah. Big Boy and doing you know what they, now? Hopefully, they got a new album coming out. I mean, they usually when people do stuff like that, it is for either. It promotion. ain't no diss to Big Boy. It's just like this is an opportunity for Big Boy, just like them girls on yeah. um, Surviving R. Kelly. That was that one girl name? She was trying to promote an album. Oh, yeah, she did drop a new. Sparkles. Yeah, Sparkles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't. Sparkles. Sparkless. <laughs> that bitch is sparkless right now. She abused my knees. I got an album right. dropping on the screen. He ran through both of y'all. Tell the truth, bitch. I cannot. <laughs> he ran through both of y'all, but kept up. 
that was she salty about. Uh, that's like, what they mad about. Oh, they on the outside oh, looking oh, in. Shit. They be at R. Kelly concerts. They are. And I walk past the bitches twelve play. Anyway, too old for me now. All right, moving on. <laughs> so Rihanna is suing her dad. I don't know if you guys heard about this. In a new lawsuit, Rihanna says or claims, allegedly, that Ronald Fenty, that is her father's name, started a new company. It's a talent development company in 2017. Yeah, that's when he started it with a friend of his. Um, and she's claiming that he had no right to do that because he was using her name falsely advertising both of them he and his partner were falsely advertising to solicit millions of dollars claiming that she was a part of it now fenty is their last name and rihanna already has that trademark fenty and she's using it for her clothing line i think she even has a, a makeup line anyway she's suing them so ain't they from the islands mm-hmm do you think that man give a fuck about being sued? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that man can go out there, drink out the coconut, and catch some <laughs> lobster every day. Them, them people don't have the same. I mean, I'm just saying, I don't know the man, but I'm just saying, he, all he wanted some fish, and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And an up caller. Right. <laughs> and it even gets deeper than that, too. Apparently, right. it's not even just the name and developing this company and soliciting and getting money. Apparently, um, I see she, where Rihanna get her lining from, but his lining better than hers. Well, you cut it out. I'm saying, look at that wig she got on. Stop it. She look, got a I, body, though. Niggas she are smashed. She looks great. We get in an argument with her. You're going to be like, bitch, if you don't shut your motherfucking uh, big forehead ass up. That's that's what you're gonna say when you get in an argument with her. I'm just saying. In the case, in the case, she a- she actually she bad. Yeah. I think she is. Yeah. And in, in I know she ca- put on that makeup and shit. She looked bad, but I seen them pictures of Rihanna. I seen them pictures of Rihanna. What pictures? Who looked better, her or Beyonce? They both oh, gorgeous Lord. to me. Yeah, so you be caking, nigga. <laughs> what you Hands down. <laughs> they both gorgeous to me. Yeah, but he yeah, said, but he said he looks, I'm not going to be disappointed with either one. This man said Whoopi Goldberg fine, so I ain't got nothing. I get it, so. You got something to say? Yeah. <laughs> really? Whoopi <laughs> 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 Goldberg? Anyway, but. Whoopi Goldberg? Whoopi Goldberg? Whoopi Goldberg? What'd you say, Dave? No, I was going to say, even you yourself, you do say that there's like a money when you don't play with a certain amount. Like, that's nothing to play with. I like Rihanna. In the, court, in the court documents, in this filed case that she just uh, started. Um, Somebody say Rihanna over auntie. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> They are actually they're, she's she's saying or they're claiming her file or the case file says that he it showed that in Latin America in 2017 he booked her for some shows and they received I guess 15 million without her authorization. She didn't do them. I mean it's one of those things. You know how the people be doing stuff like that bogus stuff, using your name, saying. Your so he didn't got a 15 million dollar right deal based off her name without. That too on top of the. Boy, mm. nigga, from where they from? 15 million. That nigga owned the biggest hut. You know what? God dang it! They're not. <laughs> get stop it. I'm God. just saying, like if push comes to shove, he could just go get a big ass hut. And live good with a fireplace, not real fires. Then he's like, we ain't got to make fires outside no more. We got a fireplace in here. I'm just saying. Do you know where they from? They from the islands. Have you been to the islands? Yeah, where's she? Barbados? Is that where she from? That? Barbados? I think Tr- she's. Uh, uh, she she's Trinidad. still gorgeous. Uh, she treated Barbados, Trinidad. I don't care. She got that tribal face. Sh- it's just people don't want to say that. I her body bad, tribal. but her face is tribal. I, I know. I don't, what? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> 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 is this Native American? <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> trying to make it rain. I wish she didn't know English if she had to talk her talk. I love her accent. Give me the Give me chart. Give me the She's got a great accent. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Corey, moving Somebody on. Say you know well, you wouldn't turn that down. That girl's. I'm amazing. a man. I would smash, but I would talk shit if we. I couldn't wait till we get in the fight so I could remind her. Oh, Bitch, if you don't get your Casper the friendly ghost looking ass. Big forehead. 
Right, goddammit. Netflix and chill and watch the movie on her forehead. Right. Oh, my. You so we say Rihanna <laughs> is regular. Is that what we saying? Protract the forehead, ass. <laughs> Come on, man. Anyway. You saying you say you say you say Rihanna is regular? I'm saying is that what we saying? We can't say she regular because of her body. Yeah, but, she but without that like makeup, it's she will not. Come on, man. right? They're talking see, Dodge like, and they would, like, for it. Stop them, like if they saw her. Intrepid windshield for it. <laughs> These niggas is crazy. Uh, what nigga? I'm the just saying. Head. Pretty little motherfucker. Yeah, pretty man. Large. So you, you, I get it because you know heads. You can't talk about heads. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> See, laugh head is shaved so down to the bottom. <laughs> so down <laughs> to the bottom. Laugh ain't got no hair on top of his head. Shaved so laugh down. with acid. He he went <laughs> he went on the set of Alien and got a uh, 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 he got alien pomade, alien blood pomade. Oh, yeah. Rub it on his head. That nigga ain't got no hair. Corey Swisher look like he teeth Zumba. <laughs> <laughs> here you go. And here you go. Uh, unless you got about two, three off. Oh my Let Zo use some of that shit you use, man. Zo <laughs> shit don't never be down to the bone like your shit. How you get that shit like that? You shave with that blade old boy did in Predator and shit. You know I'ma cut your name and do it. <laughs> I'm coming! <laughs> Got you, motherfucker. <laughs> Bill Duke head was yeah, shaved clean. Yeah. I think it's dark heads. That's Look right, more shaved and just a rounder. So head. your light skin head. Yo, is it? Is it light skin? Thing? It's a light skin head. That ain't sound right. No, no homo. Yeah. That, anyway, moving on. So I saw the Martin Lawrence peanut movie. butter colored head. <laughs> you probably aren't interested in going to see that though. But I saw it. And I thought it was. A you cute. saw what? The Martin Lawrence movie. I mean Martin Lawrence. See, I'm Martin Lawrence. Uh, Kevin Hart. Remember we talked about it last week and I said it was coming out the um with Upside. Robert Cranston. Upside. Yes. Oh, it was so cute. I like that kind of movie. Did the white man died then. I'm not gonna give that away. He must have died. I'll be knowing what be happening in these story, movies. No, the man's still alive because the people are still friends. It's based on a true story about those two guys. And based still alive. on a true story. Yeah. Well, I'm good. And those two guys are still alive. That were that it was based on Kevin's character and Robert Cranston's character. That's what's up. And just speaking of movies, this week, of course, I think Thursday night they have late night showings. But Glass, of course, everybody's talking about Glass. Yeah, right. the most mm-hmm. unintimidating looking villain in the world. You think I'm like, so? ain't that the little nerd nigga from... <laughs> oh, no. no, I think he looks crazy in that. He looks tough? In that ad. <laughs> he looks tough. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. That's some little white boys who be out there, fuck you, nigga! <laughs> he looks tough. <laughs> he knocked the fuck uh-huh. out. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I would just have a quick question it's weird i know you not you don't like things like that put up on the show but i was curious because i i somebody told me about this story and how well that these are selling and i know the guys aren't going to admit that they use any of these but i wouldn't be offended if anybody wanted to use one but you guys you've heard of sleeves right do you know what a sleeve is no okay well they have penis sleeves and some are for girth and some are for length oh so you want bigger dicks no 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 i'm I she said want. she wouldn't be mad if somebody used no, but it. What if he's a, what if he's intimate? What if he's embarrassed? What if he has a problem? I don't know, but I'm just saying that it's they, a dick sleeve. It's a dick sleeve. So, so they got sleeve. a dick girth machine. No, they have many. They sell so well. When I looked up, <laughs> so when they my got a dick me, girdle. Right? Yes, when you see what you put on. It's a dick girdle. Yes. Dick halter top. <laughs> what the fuck? Frank, you got that? <laughs> what is it? What? A dick glove. Dick spanks. Oh, really? <laughs> you got dick uh, spanks. He can't show it. He Darlene show it. just had a revelation. He can't I'm show it. It's not a real penis, though. It looks like it, Frank, but these are these are actually sleeves. And the, the oh. and it goes around the ball sack. Are we supposed to show this? No, uh, they going, can't see it. It's not going on YouTube. That's just for you. I don't want the video. Thing. Right. So, in other words, it's oh, not so going to see it. We can see it, but yeah. they can't. Yeah. Or the chat room. We could cut it, it off. Yeah, cut it off. He didn't. I knew he wasn't going to see it. But anyway, isn't that interesting? That's no, not- it's it's good. I, I right. want you to get that. Wait, what? You need to find this. <laughs> you you want me to order it for you? What do you mean? <laughs> I, no, no, no. Here's oh, you finna order, 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 order. She said she wants that. Yeah. Oh, there you go again. Why well, didn't say I want that? I'm saying I would not feel bad if a man felt the need to have to use one of those. 
Big Sling. <laughs> <laughs> big cast. No, it's not, it's not, listen, Corey, it's not for me. Like when you said, oh, I'll buy you one. I'm not buying it. It's not for me. Why would I want to buy it? Big scared, white be mine. No, I wouldn't big buy white it. Man, so, anyway, Meth head on glass. I, said it was, I wouldn't mind if a man felt the need that he had to use one of those. I'd be like, oh, bless his heart. I'm just saying, but it ain't for me to order something. A guy would have to order it himself. It's security sleeve. <laughs> No, but look, interesting ones how about this? For girls. Some about, even have trickery oh, stuff on it. Like little, right. You know. But how about this? Listen, fellas. Sure. You can order these Collectible things. Collectible foreskins. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Scully. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Cooper, I like that. Dick Scully. <laughs> Stupid. Wow. And you can even trim the back end in case yours just, just a dick you know, thermal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dick cuffy. Dick koofy. Dick koofy. <laughs> dick bra. Dick bra. Inside it. Yeah. All right, D. Don't show that on there. It's not real. It's just a drawing. A what dick vest. Dick vest. <laughs> Somebody's ordering them out. Weenie they beanies. They say they sell them. Extra VA. Weenie beanies. They say they sell Dick armor. Dick hood. Sorry. Dick trainer. They say that they sell a lot, and the cheapest ones are like 70 some bucks. So the most dick expensive scarf. ones are like 300 dick scarf. Who's ordering these? They say I that think they that, I think that, I'm being honest. I think it's going to do well. Oh what do you mean, do? They've been out for years. Well, how, what how, is it how, for? how what people... is the use for it? No, but it's if somebody, to get more so, dick. No, but if somebody's <laughs> intimidated about their size, let's just say somebody's so what if you really... Put it on, wait, wait, you, wait. Did you hear what she said? Say that again. What if somebody's intimidated about their size? How can they be intimidated about their size? Insecure you mean, about their size. Insecure, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. You're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But if you Pick put it on, you, you ain't going to be able to feel the pussy. If you a got on a... snuggie. <laughs> but listen... It's, it's not about you, um, Lab. Clearly. You don't have that problem, obviously. Clearly. But I'm saying, poor fellas, the do. I'm, that's all I'm saying. Is that a dick? <laughs> a, a dick, dick ascot. <laughs> Somebody said a dick ascot. <laughs> Jason Richardson. Well, someone's spending money, get money suits, on these things. Nigga. Blue suits. <laughs> dick onesie. Wow. Pecker wrap. I like that little clear one at the top right. Oh, the no, but I believe they're gonna do well because of this show. I believe people gonna be like, I'm a baddish motherfucker. Because nobody's gotta know, but it's damn Right, Never. nobody's gotta know. Let me tell you something. I am aware that people um wear strap ons. People do all kinds of stuff in the bedroom. Who's nobody's supposed to know all them, that? Stuff. Them stud bitches, they will fuck the shit out your girl with a big ass strap on dick. That is so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess yeah. Some stud bitch with a wet pussy under the strap on dick, <laughs> fucking your girl. <laughs> Dudes get fucked in the ass all the time and don't tell nobody. Oh my god! I'm not saying they fuck with men, but they let their girl strap on with them. Mm. Oh, this is us, baby. Nah, wrong yeah. answer. Oh yeah, I hear what Dudes saying, get yeah. fucked in the ass all the time. Wrong answer. Dudes who look tough than a motherfucker. I have never been fucked in the ass with a strap on. How about you, Lab? No, never. What about you, Zoe? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was defiant. Frank? I mean, they was definite. No, we know Frank. Oh, it's you not your fault, Frank. You were stupid. You're so dumb. <laughs> Just get it over with, Genevieve. Okay, last thing. I want to ask. Okay. I know it's late, but I want to really go over this really quick. Now, remember last week you talked about that poor kicker in Chicago. Did you see what they did? No, what they, they do? They had a challenge in Chicago. So oh, they, they was the, kicking the football? Yes, but come on. Did you see that at first there was snow? Nobody made it. Nobody made the, the goal, and they made $20,000 off of that. But I'm just saying, how they're not kickers, first of all. One, two, and it was slippery as it was fuck. No, did you see that? Come on, it doesn't matter. Anyway. I mean, somebody said dick fitted that poor guy, but anyway, oh, yeah, no. I think those are, I think they're kind of cool. I think if somebody even wanted, even was already built pretty well down there, I mean, you want more dick on no, top of the I other just dick. Think that that's a cool, ain't nothing wrong. Let me tell you something. Some girls just be shy about. to talk about they dick, what? um, what's the word, what? capacity. Yeah, they dick capacity or they... No, but then again, that's killing load. on themselves. Right, they dick need. <laughs> she has a heavy dick load. Right. Oh, I need more dick, okay? I love you, but... 
I no, need to have my if, pussy stretched what if beyond. What is built like this? <laughs> Dick selfie you see stick. How skinny that one is narrow. There have been what the grown fuck? men that are. Built. Can you imagine that? You saying it's grown men who dick built like a finger? This one too, the skinny narrow one. Yes. Now that guy needs one of those girth sleeves. What you know sleeve what's fucked would up? Fit? You know what's fucked no, up? No, it's all hollow inside. He has right. to, yeah. He has you know to what's you fucked up? Insert your dick in a dick. That's and this might be gay. <laughs> I don't want to say no, no gay don't shit. Say it. Don't say it. But one day when I was in the locker room, I actually saw that shit what D just said, and I couldn't believe it. A sleeve? No, this guy. His oh, a finger like that. I mean, a, a penis like that. Like I've finger. never seen that before until one day I was in the locker room, and I was like, is that? What is the that fuck? Real? <laughs> What the fuck you oh. That's not oh. See those are the guys That are buying these You better not ever have Compassion for a nigga That you Hold on man That nigga said oh. Right nigga oh. But it was I couldn't believe that though dog I was like Now that's fucked up But that's what I'm saying See I feel Now all I heard was Corey's in the locker room Looking at dicks That's right. all I heard was. I, I looked at him I couldn't Cause I couldn't believe it I couldn't believe it I was like What the fuck is that are you fucking serious? <laughs> but look, one day this girl I know, she told me this story and it made me laugh and a long just, time. And it's not she said it was this dude at the bar. He was crying. Some Asian dude, he was crying. And uh, they was like, what's wrong with you? She said, it's a real story. He was like, I have a little bitty dick. What? And they was like, what? Oh, you don't have to. Don't be that way. And he was like, no, you, you, you just don't understand. They was like, well, let me see. <laughs> And he pulled it out, and she was like, "We all start crying with him." Oh, like, that's oh, fucked oh, up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, you know, Howard Stern doesn't hold back. He it talks about him all the worthy, time. Nigga. What does he say? No, he says that that he's a sh- oh my god that it's like not even as he's like oh my god I'm I'm so messed up like that's messed up that I'm like, yeah he admits it he says. It. I would tell you who said that shit to me It's just I I got the fuck away from him. I thought he was flirting. Oh, oh but somebody <laughs> said they have a. An, a weird shape. Ooh, that's a, I got the fuck away from him. I thought he was flirting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because nobody Who expresses was that. Who was I mean, of course, Howard for entertainment, but a person. See, though, I want to say it. Don't I'm say trying it. not to say it. Say it during the break. This, this nigga Uh-oh, said it to me, don't. and I was like, the what the fuck is you talking break. about? Fuck it, never no, mind. Please say it during the break. Because I have a bad feeling. I'm going to take a uh, break. If I say it, people going to think I'm lying. Okay. Or I'm, I'm motherfucking just making well, shit up. I don't Say it. Say it during the break. Don't. Say it during the break. Don't. Yeah. Okay. Nigga, like, no, you know, no. I'm a big dude, oh, and you know, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm Bobby. not proportionate down there. Oh. One Bobby, no, <laughs> famous comedian. Don't. Oh, please don't. Say. No. Famous comedian. Everybody gonna be sending the girl sleeves down. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, nigga. If your dick no. ain't that big, you can't do nothing about it. You a lie. It just is what it is. It you is. can eat pussy and watch somebody fuck you, girl. Well, you can get a dick sleeve. There you go. And participate, damn it. Anyway. The dick sleeve is cool. That means you ain't got to wash up after six. You just take it off, throw it oh, on the side gross. of the bed and go to sleep. Put it in the dishwasher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's shrinking in here. <laughs> <laughs> this plate is the same size, but my dick is small again. Oh, I'll buy another one, baby. Don't worry about it. I'm going to keep us together. Oh, the fuck? <laughs> is this dishwasher safe? <laughs> <laughs> it might itch. That dishwashing liquid... This shit you gotta, terrible. then you gotta put the little <laughs> drops in there to make sure it rinses. We clean. gotta stop being uncomfortable talking about dicks, everybody. Sure, yeah, God, they act like it. Like, everybody. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Everybody, look, it's four dicks in here and one vagina. And then he talks about vaginas on his shows, so you know. Right. Yeah. Some vaginas are really cute. Here we go. Here we and go. Some are not. Most vaginas I've seen are very pretty. Really? Oh, pretty. You, you need to look at the most, most pr- pretty. You ain't never seen no bitch get naked, goddamn it, and it's the Beverly Squid Billies under that <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I, said, I didn't see a, a fucked up one. I'm just I done saying. seen pussies. You ever seen the men who let their goatee grow out with a curve right there? <laughs> oh I done seen God. pussies that look like that. <laughs> what the fuck is that hanging <laughs> off your pussy? <laughs> Look, punching bag. I can't <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> What? But then some girls, they put it's just like, it's up, it's perfect. It puts some, it look like it's hanging. It's perfect. <laughs> some puts it look like neck meat. Right. <laughs> like, uh, some of these girls' pussy look like uh, mm, them, mm. them prunes go bad. <laughs> you be like, what happened to your pussy, babe? I mean, I'm going to still fuck you, but oh, oh. I know I don't. pussy. <laughs> 
I had a girl who pussy lips was so big it was intimidating. <laughs> it was intimidating. I had never seen nothing like that before. Big or okay. She Describe had it. good wet. Pussy. The pussy was amazing. Was but it was I, I, I know niggas that said, What the fuck is that? <laughs> Cause her lips look literally like goddamn um the what it look like. I know I, I I'm trying to think what, what I said her... wizard sleeves. Oh. Right. <laughs> no, we they, they said that before. Wizard sleeves. You're talking about the exterior or the interior? <laughs> the exterior. Her lips on the outside didn't look real. It looked like Corey, you might have been with a, a Caitlyn. You said a girl who used to be a dude. I well, thought about that. Well. But this was a woman. <laughs> this was a woman. <laughs> He's back here laughing. <laughs> I thought about that. I, when I saw her pussy lips, I was like, what the fuck is, is that? that? Why is there so much God in there Huge right there? Yeah. Uvula. Her pussy lips was the biggest shit I ever seen in my That's life. I ain't good. never seen no oh. pussy with lips like that. Um. When you open it, that pussy lips there. <laughs> It. It's like a, like a coroner with a dead nigga who got hit by a car. You know, they roll him over the sill. <laughs> this bitch pussy look like a body. <laughs> a body. Like an Austin Powers fat bastard. What? <laughs> <laughs> When I was fucking her, them uh, lips was like this. Yeah, I, was, I was just going to say, see, go back. that didn't stop him. That thing's going y'all gross. Anyway. Somebody right. say Corey kissed it. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something, man. You don't know what I be going through out here. Bat wings. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. No, this bitch had geese wings. You ever seen a oh geese? Oh, my eh, eh, When they skate. <laughs> <laughs> and what makes it so bad? <laughs> look, they looked they looked ashy. But it wasn't ashy when the you ashy touched it. Ashy pussy lips? <laughs> That's a yeast infection. No. Come on. <laughs> what nothing wrong with her pussy? It's just the lip. <laughs> How can I put it? <laughs> Elephant ears. Right? <laughs> what the fuck? I, I'm trying to think of what her lips look like so I can tell people. <laughs> Ashy. No, but remember, he said the exterior. That's. I'm going to tell you what her pussy looked common. like. That's not that's And good. this is the truth. What did it look like? Her pussy looked like it was a train between her legs. You know how a train look in the front? The, the What's the, the, the car that leads? The, the main en- car? The engine. The, yeah, the engine. Yeah. yeah, that's what her pussy looked like. It looked Wait, like a train. That's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! A train. That's a dick, a man. Dick. This wasn't no dick. This was her clit was like this. What up, nigga? I'm right here. Rub me. But he's saying the exterior. That's crazy. It's the exterior. The so she's got. So she's got camel toe galore. So when she wears stretch pants. Wow, if she wore some stretch pants, Ugh. that puss, yeah. that pussy was that. I ain't never seen no lips <laughs> like that before in my life. Mm. <laughs> God damn it! Mm. Hey. Okay. Right. If, that, if it rain outside, that bitch could do a headstand, and her face won't get wet if she <laughs> next. God damn! <laughs> open up, <laughs> beach umbrella. That bitch shit open up like that Chinese fan. <laughs> <laughs> Komodo it. dragon pussy. What the fuck? They trying to figure out who the comic was. I can't oh, say the man, comic you because can't. not on something like that. That's it'll terrible. start some shit. Anybody but when they did that shit, Carmel? anyway, mm-hmm. we finna get ready to take a quick break and come back. We so appreciate y'all, motherfuckers, for listening to our bullshit. Hurry, go place your orders on the sleeve. Fifty one fifty. We'll be back. <laughs>
my nigga Bodie on the track. Go.
Welcome to the 5150 Show. I am Saltbuck Cornelius, here to bring you another jam. Today we have the group Fallen Star. Uh, wow. <laughs> this is, Fallen Star? This is KO at the Mall Music. <laughs> <laughs> we are so happy to have you here. Let's get ready to bring the jam in. Hit it, laugh. I mean, hit it, uh, Frank. Frankie. <laughs> Frankie, baby. Play those keys, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Tell them, baby, now. Nah. Fuck you with my dick sleeve, girl. Uh. About to fuck you with my dick sleeve, girl. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you with my dick sleeve, girl. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck you with my dick sleeve. Mm-hmm. Give your body what it need. But Check it out. out. I notice you ain't came real hard in a while. In a long time. So I'm about to make your body go wild. Mm-hmm. About to put on this dick sleeve I bought. Your ass is about to be taught You said that you want more girth And this way won't be no birth, yeah I'm fucking with my dick sleeve, yeah with my dick sleeve, yeah Fuck you with my dick sleeve, yeah Fuck you with my dick sleeve Fuck you with my dick sleeve, yeah Ooh yeah, ooh yeah about to fuck you fuck with you my dick sleeve Give your body what it be Tell them so Baby girl, I know I told you I put it down But tonight I'm about to clown I'ma make sure you never leave Daddy just bought a dick sleeve Fuck you with my dick sleeve, girl Fuck you with my dick sleeve, girl Fuck you with my dick sleeve, girl with my dick sleeve, girl. About to fuck you with my dick sleeve, girl. Ooh, yeah. About to fuck you with my dick sleeve. I'm about, about to give your body what it needs. What up, Lyle? Tell him. With my dick sleeve. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh uh, yeah. I'm gonna put it in your face, let you rub it. It's rubber. It don't matter. Cause I put it on. And now it's fatter in your face. I know you taste it. Girl, I got a turkey and I can baste it. It's got options. This the new model. And when I put it on, it'll make you holler. Cause I'll make you. I 
Fuck you with my big sleeve, girl. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Fuck you with my big sleeve, girl. Fuck you with my dick sleeve, girl. Fuck you with my dick sleeve. I'm about to give your body what it needs. I want you to prepare for the thrashing about to hear. Fuck you. Fuck you. When I get up, fuck you. Body and pussy gon' live in infamacy. About to lay it down and make it strong. This dick sleeve got my shit feeling long. Fuck you. <laughs> dick sleeve, baby. Go from this. From this to this. From this to bliss. From this to this. From dick to bliss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This a cut. Dick sleeve music in the house. No need to put it in your mouth. This is to make you. Bust out the apple juice from your pussy like a dead moose. I said Aaron Neville last week. This week I'm talking about Philip Bailey Thomas and how he used to fuck. Looking like laugh with hair on the buck. No, the rap was weak. <laughs> Even though you me. beat stick. She not fucking you She not fucking you She not fucking you She not fucking you She told you to get a dick sleeve Cause something was wrong She told you to get a dick sleeve Cause your shit ain't long She wanna get banged by a bone You can't nut cause you don't feel it It lasts long yet mm. Fucking with my dick sleeve girl. Fake dicks Fake dicks Fucking with my dick sleeve, girl. You got dick light, you got dick light. Fucking with my dick sleeve, girl. <laughs> Darlene, she want a dick sleeve, cause she ain't with Ice D. <laughs> <laughs> dick sleeve music, ladies and gentlemen. Oh dick sleeve productions. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Coming to a pussy near you. <laughs> <laughs> Short sleeve records. I see. <laughs> Patty Eddie. <laughs> Patty Eddie. Uh, Patty Eddie, I Eddie. see. Uh, that's funny. Man, I'm the hook king. Y'all better right get at here. me, dick. I bet you them orders went up, though. I bet you them companies were like, what happened? All of a sudden, right. you just jumped up in order. Hey, them motherfuckers. <laughs> tell them motherfuckers you bought it because of the 5150 show when y'all ordered them motherfuckers. Hey, motherfuckers. Hey, Hey, yeah, sponsors, Dick Sleeve, I'll blow your shit up. Dick Sleeve, sponsor? Dick Sleeve. Dick Sleeve, send me a Dick Sleeve, I'll fuck on air with a Dick Sleeve. But it's got to be from the back. I don't want them looking at me, but I just, I'll fuck the girl first, me regular. But it's a Dick Sleeve, they don't know what your size is for real anyway. No, I'm going to fuck her from the back, regular, facing this way. Oh. Okay. long as I'm up this way, oh. this this Corey Dick, now this is the Dick Sleeve. <laughs> Uh, Let's try it. I'm then you gotta go. probably be there on that facing over there, goddamn it. Why? <sighs> Would you get fucked with the dick sleeve on the show? Oh, you're talking about me in the. Oh, I thought you meant to see. Oh my no, god. No, I'm saying, why you thought about that? Why I can't watch? <laughs> you wouldn't let a dude, it'll be a dude. You can Ew, bring your dude. Re- bring a dude that you know. Who you know? <laughs> <laughs> if you fuck D before, please get in touch with the show. Who do you know? <laughs> Who you know? You ain't got no class, and that ain't me. <laughs> you're crazy. Said, nah. Who you know? Uh-uh, you yeah. brought up the dick sleeve. We didn't know nothing about the dick sleeve. You brought it up. No, dude. but I'm just saying I feel for those that feel the need or want. But but then again, what if somebody just wants to have fun and just change? No, D, but the- ain't nothing wrong with you saying that looks exciting. It's okay. Just say it. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Do you see how D is shy when it comes to certain shit? I'm I can not tell. Shy. I just don't feel that's classy to speak on stuff like that for myself. You brought it up. <laughs> I'm my sexual person. Your private sexual business. shit. My sexual private business. I understand, right. but that's I think, the thing. I'm not saying I can't talk about items and things like that. I think that. you sure, should order not? one and tell us what happened. I really do. I don't think so. I'll order one and I'll show you how it looks. <laughs> <laughs> I see how it looks already. Think so. D ain't gonna tell. D don't. That's the only thing. Yeah. That would be crazy if D came in here. You know what, guys? Thank you. Hello. Yes. I got fucked with a dick sleeve. Right. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Someone had a dick sleeve on. <laughs> right. oh it's still there. 
Lay, if you brought up that shit about motherfucking what happened at the White House, oh. the White House. Oh man, how did, the Clemson football team went there, uh, like all championship teams do. With most, no, not with most. most that's why I say right. most. Most that shit was played out. Do. They took advantage of the kids. Yeah, they did. And uh, this motherfucker fed them McDonald's. Now, did you hear what hey. he said? Did you hear the excuse he gave? What was the well, excuse? excuse? They said that the chefs and all that were on. Um, it was they're, that they're part of the government shutdown and that they were on furlough, so they didn't. That's a cop out. Because he could have ordered anything else. He could have ordered. He, he goes, "Oh, I'm just trying to eat like you guys because I hear you guys like this type of food." Whoa! What, 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 what that mean? Uh-uh. What? They they, they damn eat. near professional athletes. That ain't how they take care of their body. Eat McDonald's every fucking day. Yeah. It's a diss all the way around. All You're at the White way. House. You don't expect to eat McDonald's. He could have exactly. catered. He could have had a catered. He, he could have do it. Insight. Supposedly he a billionaire. Why you ain't flip for the food? Because people who are billionaires be cheap than a motherfucker. Mm. Yeah, people like him. Deal. But still, it's bogus how they did them players, man. Yeah, you, I, I bet it was a lot of players who felt uncomfortable going. One of you know, they not mm-hmm. pros yeah. where they can stand on their shit and as that's much. That's too. That's true, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to lose their scholarship. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of the so. dudes was, they, they they didn't point out who it was, but they said one of the uh, dudes could be heard over saying, um, yo, is this a joke? Is they are he is they real? Because they thinking this got to be a joke that we came to the White House and you got a table full of Big Macs. Yeah, because if you look up on, if you Google all the late night talk show, they had a blast with it. Oh, my God. I'm not eating a Big Mac at the White House. No, I'm not <laughs> I'll leave the White House and go order a Big Mac. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm going to eat some bullshit. If I'm going to eat that bullshit, I'm going to get it. Yeah, exactly. But why? who goes to the White House and eat eat? Food, right. And I'm going to tell you another thing about what college kids go through, man. They don't even get paid for that shit, man. In fact, if somebody give them some money, they motherfucking get in trouble for taking yeah. it. Yo, they gonna yep. lose their scholarship. How cold is that? Mm-hmm. You they just won the national championship, made that university and other Caucasian people a lot of money. <laughs> Millions. And he had the nerve to say, oh, if uh, that he would have had his wife and then the second wife, which is the vice president's wife, could uh, make them salads. But I don't think you guys would like a salad. Like he was, be- he was. Somebody say Corey cheeky. talk about the Gillette commercial. What do you mean, G? Oh no, it's too deep. That'll what is a, it? That'll it's take a whole other hour. Talking about uh, the Gillette commercial is trying to make men more sensitive, seeing that you. You know, talking about when them niggas was twerking? No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. I that Y'all one. saw that construction? One? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, that's old. This is a new oh, one. This one just yeah. came out. Yeah, that's gross. That was not cool. I didn't like that one. What was it? The Gillette commercial? What yeah, talking about? about you know dudes, the whole Me Too movement, trying to say like they're little adding bo- that saying little their- boys are too aggressive. Little t- trying to teach little boys to not be so aggressive. And I know, yeah. like when I watch ESPN, I be seeing females as the. The host of NFL Live, like mm-hmm. they be the ones. They so what do you think about what's the name running routes? <laughs> and it's like <laughs> it's so obvious that you have forced this bitch amongst men. It's this guy like the Rams one out here. It's this mm-hmm. dude. His last name is Slater. You might know who I'm talking about, Jackie you, Slater. Yeah. Yeah. And he had it's to answer questions rail. from this bitch. And I noticed how he was doing it. He was saying, well, in my experience, <laughs> you know what I'm uh-huh. saying? He was really digging at the bitch because the bitch was aggressive. I'm saying like all over commercials, they basically are commercials and TV. They forcing women in spots where it's not natural to me. Like they got so many women superheroes now. Um uh, that, yeah, um, there's a gang of them. What's that new one? I forgot too. The new some one. girl yeah, is yeah, yeah. Captain uh, Captain something. Yeah. Captain Marvel. Captain yeah, Marvel. Captain yeah. Marvel. She's a superhero. Then they got some little cartoon looking girl. She's Battle Angel. Um, oh, the little uh, <laughs> yeah, the little Asian robot Asian girl Asian. or whatever. Yeah. It's all women superheroes, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> if you say so. I don't go. I can't. I, it might be something wrong with me. I can't watch that shit. I know in commercials, what makes me mad lately is they're playing a lot of Michael Jackson, Prince, and Whitney they Houston music with these yeah. bank commercials. Yeah, uh-huh. you would have never. You, Prince, Prince never would allow his music to be played no. in the commercial. Like that, no. Never. No. They we killed our that. people, man, for their music, man, and we we sitting up here coming down on one motherfucker when the enemy is who the enemy is. When they play that music during that shit, I'm like, wow, they got their catalog. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They got their catalog, man. How you get their catalog? I believe if you write a will, they'll find a way around it. Because they are the ones with the money, they make the rule. 
Yeah. They said Prince didn't have a will. I just I just can't believe that. He was so meticulous and so much shit. And you telling me just he, didn't he ain't got nothing. no will? Right. Come on, man. Shit hurt. And he was so yeah. protective of his music, but he didn't have a will? To give at least give the music to somebody in particular? They right. were I don't know. They were saying something about his religion too. Wasn't he? What was he at the end? Jehovah, Jehovah Witness. Witness. Yeah. Somebody said I got women problems. Yeah, I got women problems, but I bet you do too. <laughs> Who ain't got women problems? <laughs> Only motherfuckers ain't got women problems is motherfuckers who tuck their legs between they, I mean, tuck their tail between their legs. I want to say true. this about women. I love women. I love women. And I know something is wrong with me. I know something is wrong with me. And I wish that, <laughs> I wish that I could find a way to make it work with the ones I love. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about people I love. But I'm just saying, it's like I am who I am. And, at this age in my life, I don't think I'm able to be phony with it. I'm going to tell you what it is. And if I fuck with you, I'm going to show you I fuck with you. I ain't going to say it. I'm going to show you I fuck with you. Like J-Rob said, who doesn't right. have women problems? <laughs> right. Anyway, we, we we was here for a while today. I think we about at the two spot. Yeah, we chopped yeah. it up. Yeah. Devin, I'm Thanks so glad. Thanks for coming through. Laugh, love. Right, laugh, I appreciate y'all. Love. Always good to see laugh, right. love. We worked at Ontario Improv this weekend. Thank you, Ontario. Yeah, y'all we had a good time. Out. Y'all came out. It was it was nice. Oh, yeah. It was, it was a great weekend. It was a great man, weekend. Man, I'm telling you, man. It's like, I'm telling you, I used to do these clubs for $100. Mm. I used to do these clubs, make about two, three, four, five hundred dollars $500 for the whole weekend. Mm. Now nah, it's motherfucking set up where it ain't like that. And I really appreciate it. Everybody who came out to Ontario Improv this weekend. Uh, somebody, Corey got trust issues. You damn right. <laughs> if you ain't got trust issues, you about to get gat, motherfucker. Everybody who told me I had trust issues, them the motherfuckers who fucked me over. <laughs> wow. Yo, cool. My yeah. old manager. Corey, you got trust issues. That motherfucker <laughs> got me. Damn. Got some money for a promoter in my name oh, for 2500 no. What happened? No, I'm saying no. Really? Somebody what say Lav looked like Connor from Marvel. What? Who is Connor? I don't even know. Somebody who that said is. you look like the Ninja Turtle, and I said that. Oh Nigerian yeah, you said that. Yeah. <laughs> my feet—it's cold. I don't have my feet out. What would a Nigerian know. Ninja Turtle be named? One of them named Splinter, right? Uh, what, what, what? You stupid. What did they name Mark DeAngelo? <laughs> no, they named after the painters. Michelangelo. <laughs> Michelangelo. Leonardo. 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 So Raphael, what they gonna name? Raphael, what they gonna Raphael, name that's right. Mm-hmm. Huh? Oh. What they gonna name Lab? <laughs> Them stupid motherfuckers Uh-oh. gonna yes. come up with these. Uh-huh. They Mr. say you look like Mr. Brown. Oh. <laughs> Donatello, that's true. That's the other one. <laughs> Leonardo, 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 Leonardo. 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 <laughs> Pantro, Kelly, I see you, Pantro, Pantro, Nick Van Exel. Oh, thanks, Orlando. Luke Cage, okay. they stupid. <laughs> 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 Niggas is dumb. Somebody say I got the uncle on the couch hoodie. <laughs> this is one of them motherfucking hoodies from. I'm um, a star. Yeah, what is that? It's them MMA fighter hoodies. I like going to they store and buy shit. Yeah, oh stupid. yeah. Mm-hmm. When I get in shape. <laughs> I don't know. I've been fucking with them dumbbells a little bit. Y'all Tony motherfucker don't walk up on me, nigga. Uh oh, he's building. He's building. I tell you what. Old. Next week, I'm wearing a tank top. Next week, it's still chilly out here. <laughs> Baby oh, Rock. You stupid. Baby Rock. Wait. <laughs> oh, they dumb. Like Bill Duke abortion. <laughs> <That's> stupid. <laughs> Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> Terry Crews' <Yeah>. son. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas be going at Jeepers Creepers. Blood Diamond. <laughs> 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 He's going call you boss yet. That's Gary <laughs> Coleman. <laughs> Nick Butu. <laughs> Give us us free. They dumb as hell. Super milk the, are they dumb? Thanks, Martin. Flute yeah. cage. Martin. That's I want to say to everybody who donated in the show tonight, nigga, I yeah. see you. I love wow. you. I love you, y'all niggas. Really, man, I'm finna fix this studio up with that motherfucking bridge y'all put in. I ain't, I ain't got no shame. I don't be lying about shit. I'm about Shout- to fix the studio up with the bridge y'all gave me. Shout out to the dude that came through the Ontario Improv this weekend and donated for the snacks. He, wow. he, he, Did he? Yeah, yeah. he's like, yo, I listen to the show here. Here you go. Uh, this is for the snacks. Tell Corey this is for the snacks. What? Oh, yeah. Well, where are the snacks? You ain't get his name? <laughs> I, I don't even know. He ain't give his name. He right. I ask people their names. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. I remember people. Yeah. A lot of people I see it's out, I, I, I'm starting to remember. DJ, every time I do the show at Ontario Empire, he come through. 
Uh, Big Chris came through with his um, youngins. He said he had his boys with him. Yeah, he had like 12. Mm. Dude from, from the Green, Green Mile. Mile. That's who laugh looks like. Uh. T'Challa Jalo. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said Corey didn't snack tonight. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I might snack after this. I don't know. <laughs> That's why he's holding back. I wanna say, but no, for real, 5150, y'all motherfuckers be holding us down. Look, I swear to God, I'm about to put this album out. I'm about okay. to put this album okay. out. And I'm, I'm trying right. to get it done fast because, as you can see, I'm cold with them hooks. Yeah, I'm cold it. with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, congratulations. I want to send a shout out to. Uh, X, that's who's sending the hooks. I mean, that's who's sending the beats, right? Uh, yeah, I think this week's was somebody else. Well, who was this week's? What was his name? Frank. Frank is going to find out who who sent it this week. And are they clear? Mookie Blaylock. Mookie Blaylock. Bodie. 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 Oh, yeah. Thanks, Bodie. Mm -hmm. Bodie, good That beat, you see, we flipped that bitch. We helped the beats. We ain't one of the motherfuckers that need the beat for help. We help the beats, but we appreciate the beats. Them beats be raw. Because mm-hmm. people be hearing them during the break. They be like, what they going to do with this? Thanks, right. David Page. <laughs> right. David Page, good looking out. Mm-hmm. Everybody who looked out. So, uh, Corey Glanton with a tank top. Uh-uh. The fuck y'all niggas. I'm about to get my motherfucking. Uh-oh. They say Corey look like look a blueberry at- icicle. I do. <laughs> but I'm telling you, look, I'm telling you, look, I'm back on my shit a little bit. Uh-oh. I'm on Uh-oh. the super soccer nigga type <laughs> shit. Give me about what, nigga? I'm coming to Jacksonville. I'm, I'm trying. I don't know if I'm getting my stomach all the way down by the end, but nigga, I'm back on my motherfucking health kick shit. Yeah, I remember I had lost all that. I had lost a lot of weight at one time, yeah, but yeah. I'm about to get it back right, man. Cause shit, this summer, goddamn it, I want to be out there motherfucking naked, damn near. Mm. I'm motherfucking doing a remake of Johnny Gill's song, Rub You the Right Way. I'm going to be Uh-oh. out there. Uh-oh. What you been missing? Yeah, out there with a dick sleeve on. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I think oh. I'm going to wear a dick oh. sleeve. Then, it was, then they can say that he was exposing himself because it'd be covered up. I wanna, I'm going to fuck a girl with a dick sleeve from the back. Oh, my God. And I'm going to just have a video of me with the dick sleeve on from the back. <laughs> How much they cost, D? Summer as low as 50. The good ones go up to about 200. Two hundred, a two hundred dollar dick sling. <laughs> but you can't feel it. I know you can't. Just no, you can't. In there. It's for her. Thick, thick, but she thick. gotta turn you on, cause you gotta maintain a rea- a, a erection, and you ain't feeling the well, magic. Yeah, yeah. No, but you can release. It's got like a. It's got a little. But how you gonna release if you can't feel it? D, you don't know how the answers to this, do you? Yeah. <laughs> It's, but it does have like a little tank at wow. the bottom where it like it's got a, little, a tank, a little reser- reservoir for the semen. So you got a dick tank on the dick sleeve. They need um at the head. Some of these girls need um. The head is hollow. The head. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's got a dick tank. <laughs> the new pussy nectar machine. It will make your pussy wet. They need a pussy a nectar tank. machine. It's got a dick tank. <laughs> it's got a curic at the end. No. D, have you ever seen those what? fucking machines? What do you mean? It's a machine with a with a with a lever that turns where the thing is actually it's a it's a machine. You get fucked. Mm-hmm. A fucking machine. Have no, you ever seen no, one? No, but that doesn't sound appealing at all. Why not? What do you mean why not? <laughs> you don't need a man. You can get fucked without oh, a man. What? You want the apple juice beat out your pussy, right? No. <laughs> the what? The horchata, maybe. The apple not juice. The apple juice. The, the horchata. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I don't even know. That, that white is. shit, nigga. The horchata. Uh, <laughs> that's yeast. No. <laughs> you want the horchata <laughs> beat I'm out of his queso. I'm with you. The queso. <laughs> you want the queso <laughs> beat out your pussy? You want the cheese <laughs> beat out? <laughs> beating the queso <laughs> out this bitch pussy. He. 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 Eat, Damn it. Eat. Uh, you want the cheese beat out of it? Right, God. You want the snot fucked out, you don't? <laughs> well, st- well, lay your head down and don't move. Oh, God. Keep your leg right there. Don't you move. Didn't I say don't move again? Uh, what the fuck, uh, man? You want the eye cold out your pussy, don't you? 
<laughs> that gorilla snot. Right? <laughs> oh, thank you. You want the alcohol water beat out your pussy? You know, the Alfredo beat out. <laughs> That's terrible. The Alfredo. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you you want terrible. the whole chop to beat out your pussy, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, be, oh, be quiet then. If you talk, it's going to go down. Oh, uh-huh. look at that. They put a little, oh, that's cute. The <laughs> oh, that's sweet. The mayo. You want the mayo you know beat out of it. <laughs> Terrible. The mayo beat out of it, boy. Uh, Who the, you want the yeah. eye butter beat out your pussy? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ray Slim, you silly. Eye butter. God what darn it. You want the. <laughs> <laughs> you want the ranch beat out that <laughs> The ranch? The monkey oh. milk beat out that oh, God. Monkey milk. I'm going to fuck the duck sauce out you. <laughs> uh. Fuck the feta out your ass. Oh, I can't. Oh. Ah, them niggas stupid up there, they man. They are. Morgan Sola. The snail trail. Oh, right. Perfect. I'm looking forward the to that. The silk milk. <laughs> The tartar sauce. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, Thank you, 5150 yes, Nation. Please. We love you. Making us laugh. Dzo, laugh, love. Appreciate y'all, man. We 5150. We'll see y'all next week, motherfucker. <laughs> I'll beat the headline after.